Hello there fellow Dazzlers, Razzle here taking you back through the gates of time with another meme tutorial, this time about how to get your games to run a bit more smoother. Many down to if you're trying to play a game with known slowdown like Metal Slug 2 or Double Dragon, and ways to make that run a bit faster without that annoying slowdown. Before you do that, what you want to do is make sure you have your cheats enabled. So what you're going to do on the main menu here is go to General Settings. You're going to come down to Miscellaneous Options. And you're going to make sure your cheats are on. Because what you're going to be doing is overclocking the virtual CPU of your system or of the game system itself, so not your computer CPU. Your computer CPU will be perfectly fine. Uh, if it's not on, you won't be able to see that. So make sure you flick that on. And always, always save your settings with a double click or push the Enter key. Uh, I don't need to do that as I already have those settings saved on my system. And if you've never seen the miraculous slowdown of Metal Slug 2 in action, I'm going to show you real quick. It doesn't take very long. I do a bit of a side by side actually. I think it'll be a good way of doing it. So, just. Oh, I mean, I know the Metal Slug games do have a bit of slowdown, uh, but it's usually something you can handle, or it's when there's a bunch of things going on a bunch of missiles, a bunch of explosions, uh, a reasonable expectation for lag. This is kind of ridiculous and makes the game very difficult to play. Pretty sure you did adjust to it, but still, you want a bit more of a smoother experience. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to reset the game. You don't have to reset the game to do this. You can actually just do it, whatever. Anyways, um, so what you're going to do is push the tab key in, and using your arrow keys, you're going to go down to side of controls, hit that enter key, and then you're going to come down to overclock main CPU. Crank that up to 250. And let's start again. And a quick get rid of, to get rid of the um, menu like that quickly, you just push the tab key. I know somebody's going to mention that they can't find a key to do that. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to go to pick that character because I like Theo. And you can see right now, just runs a whole lot better. Got absolutely no lag at all. I think there is a little bit more lag when uh, a lot of stuff's happening on screen, which is understandable. Makes the game a bit more playable, and you can probably tool around with that slider setting to uh, further reduce lag when the action gets more intense. You can do this for pretty much any game, too. So you can tool around with, say, uh, thinking like the other Metal Slugs sometimes have a bit of slowdown, so you probably could tool around that to see if you can get it running fully 100%. Alright, so you can see how it works with Metal Slug. You can also do this with other games too, such as Double Dragon. And a nice thing too is once you have set up your, um, your you've enabled cheats, that's globally, so you don't have to go into each individual game and set that up. What you do have to do though is... Um, Set up, uh, set up the cider controls every time you play, meaning you have to switch it up all the way up to uh, whatever percentage you're using. Unfortunately, you can't save the cider controls, at least when it comes to the overclocking CPU. Right, so we've got a bit of a slow down here, like right when we come over here. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful lag. So let's, again, Let's go to our tab key here. We're going to go to slider controls. So using the arrow keys, hit enter. And uh, I forgot to mention too, you may have noticed I made that go up faster. Normally when you use your arrow key, it goes up 1% uh, point. If you hold down control and you use your left and right arrow keys, you can actually go by tens, making it a bit faster to do that. So we're going to do that. Reset the game. I guess it's already running a bit uh, faster there. Now let me see if I can get past this guy real quick, just to show you. Uh, he's not letting me go. Okay, and you can see there's like pretty much no slowdown there as we scroll over to the right. And there are other games that benefit from this. I remember reading somewhere uh, Shock Troopers 2 has a uh, slowdown that uh, hinders the gameplay 
uh, and that makes it hard to, you know, difficult to play. And with this, you can now experience those games a bit more of a faster pace. Want to see what it's like to play a game with little to no slowdown? I think that'd be interesting to play uh, some games where I've relied on that slowdown and having it run fast. It's also why I want to get a better computer because being able to play throws over at full speed is a bit different than having it slow down and <laughs> you making those dodges when uh, <laughs> the computer's running slow. But uh, that's again, that's another subject for a, a whole another video. I just want to thank you once again for uh, checking out this short little tutorial. If there's anything you also uh, want to look at when it comes to meme, uh, specifically if you're just running meme alone, so if you're trying to run this on some, something like Retro Arc or Final Burn or some other kind of front end, um, I don't really have experience with that. So unfortunately, that's a bit out of my league. Uh, I could take a look at that if you guys really, 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 really want me to. Uh, you know, you guys are my subscribers. I do want to make sure I'm uh, putting out things you guys want to see as well. So, that being said, um, and also, on a real quick note, uh, I know if you start doing the arcade review series, uh, any game that we review is going to be reviewed um, as is. So like if we did a review of Double Dragon, for example, we would do it with the original setting, so without the speed up on there. We might make a note of that, but you know. Uh, anyways. I want to want to thank you for putting up with my uh, end of video jibber jabbering there. And again, I want to say a special shout out to any of my subscribers or dazzlers, as I like to call them, that deal with tremendously huge kitties like that cat. But no, who have uh, exhibited a lot of patience uh, with us getting this channel back up and running. And I do want to thank you for coming uh, through me here with the gate through the gates of time to take a look at more main tutorials. And as always, we don't have an in -net tag sign up thing, so I will guess I'll just see you guys in the next video. Take care.